My name is Henis Guzman. I'm a cadet second class here at the Academy. I'm from Bohemia. It's in Suffolk County, Long Island. Grew up there my whole life. Uh, so I graduated from St. Anthony's High School in um, 2011. And my high school experience was great. Had, uh, had a lot of friends, did a lot of activities, um, just an overall great experience. I ran track in, for my high school and I played soccer for a club team. I was in the band, a uh, bunch of uh, just clubs like uh, Model UN, um, things like that, Boy Scouts, uh, got the Eagle Scout, you know, my senior year. So those are, those are pretty much the activities I did. We had college tonight, and the Naval Academy in West Point showed up, and I spoke with them, and through them, I actually found out about the Air Force Academy. I didn't know it existed. First and foremost, I really wanted to be in the military. My grandpa was in the military. My dad was in the Dominican uh, Army. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, it was kind of like a continuation of kind of like family tradition, but also I wanted to be an officer, and my dream was to fly, so I wanted to be a pilot and this was definitely the place to do it. This is the best place to go to. I went online and I kind of did like a pre-candidate questionnaire and then I got assigned an ALO and they said, hey, call this person. Um, but he called me first, so it was nice. Um, otherwise, I might not have called. He gave me pretty much everything I needed uh, to get my application ready and he said, hey, all right, this is who you need to talk to. This is who you need to start talking to. This is the stuff that's due next month and then this is the stuff that you should start thinking about. So he was definitely the most, most help that I got on the application process. Uh, the application process was long. Um, I started in like February and I ended the next January. So it took me about a year. I mean, you know, it wasn't like every day just going through it, but it took me about a year to finish it, um, which a lot of people don't know about. You know, it's not like a regular college application. There are a lot of different things that go into it. I came out by myself for in processing. My family all drove me to the airport and then I flew and I met a sponsor family here and they took care of me for the night and then brought me to the academy the next day. Uh, that, was, that was the first like shock. Um, it was the first kind of like military setting I was ever in. Um, you know, people all in your face and everything. And you know, I wasn't really, the yelling didn't get me. It was just the fast pace of things and everything you expected to just like, you know, hop on board and, you know, stay on track. Uh, Slap me in the face. <laughs> um, I, uh, I never really had to study before I came here. Everything just kind of came naturally. So that's probably the hardest lesson that you have to learn is that you got to put in those hours of studying um, right off the bat or else you're going to fall behind. And, uh, you know, next semester, you know, you got to catch up. You know, you got to make up for it. So I would definitely say that academics are harder to hear than at high school and probably most colleges. I'm an economics major. I took, a, I took economics in high school, um, like the AP economics, and that was probably my favorite class I've ever taken in my life. Took it here, took the core class. It was, uh, it was still kind of on track with what I wanted to do. And so I declared it because they told me, they were like, well, it's kind of tough and everything. I don't know if you're gonna like it. I said, I'm all for the challenge, so let's do it. Academics was my biggest challenge. I overcame it by just getting my time management skills together, kind of working really hard for every one of my classes, making sure that if I had free time, I was using it productively, studying. Um, yeah, that was my biggest challenge. I hope to fly uh, Spec Ops C-130s, um, go the Spec Ops route, and uh, kind of do that close air support mission type stuff. Soaring. Uh, soaring was, you know, you fly a glider, and I got solo in that, and that was probably the best, I don't know, best kind of like free, just away from everyone moment I got at the academy, where you just, it's just you in the sky, you know, flying the plane, so I thought that was the best experience I've had so far. Loving my family, I'm doing something that makes them proud, I'm doing something that's fun to make them proud, and I know that, you know, it's a bright future ahead. You know, you graduate, you have a guaranteed job, and it's just kind of like that driving force that just, you know, makes you, makes you wake up every day and just do what you need to do. Call up admissions, uh, go online, just start getting information, learn who to put yourself in contact with. Um, that's probably like the first step right there. That'll open up every everything you need to do to, you know, apply and get in, is to just, you know, contact somebody and just start, you know, looking up the academy, learning what it is, knowing what it is and uh, learning to how to get into it.